Hey, it's Sunday Sweeney, and I'm gonna share with you guys my nighttime skincare routine. Okay, so first I always put my hair back with a silk hair tie, and I cut bangs recently for my last project, so I have to clip those back too. I feel like I made a terrible decision, but it's okay, they're cute. <laughs> so I just like do a nice little clip. Then I've always had a really hard time finding a good facial cleanser that works for me. When I was in high school, I always went through either exfoliating way too much or uh, I ended up just washing my face with water for many years because I kept breaking out and I felt like it was the cleanser and it wasn't. It was just other products that I was using. And I finally found a facial cleanser that is incredible for me. It is the Laneige Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser. I don't know if you can see it really proper. <laughs> it's amazing. I take off all my makeup with it. So I actually put it on my face dry and I don't put water on my face first. I hope that's correct, but I just do like one or two pumps and then just do it all over my face. I think I put it on my face dry because I read somewhere to do that once and then I just kept doing it and it worked. So I hope I'm doing that right. You guys will definitely let me know if I'm wrong doing this. <laughs> and then I use lukewarm water to take it off. So one second. And then I just pat it off. I used to scrub it off and someone told me that you should always pat your face. I'm no skincare expert though. <laughs> I learned most of my skincare from multiple different makeup artists or sets that I worked on. Growing up, I definitely didn't even know skincare was an important thing. And then I, whenever I have eye makeup on, I do this thing and I don't know if it works or if it's right, but I use Vaseline to take the rest of my eye makeup off and also makes a repeat in my skincare journey later. When I was in middle school, I think I read somewhere that Vaseline's supposed to make your eyelashes grow. And so I used to lather my eyelashes and my eyebrows with Vaseline. And I don't know if it worked or not, but I realized it helped to take my eye makeup off really gently. So I'm gonna grab a little wipe. I just never liked the like harsh rubbing of eye makeup. I just pat it off and it all comes off. Does anyone else with that face when you do things? <laughs> this Vaseline is my travels everywhere with me. Look at that. <laughs> I have really sensitive eyes so they get red really fast and easily. It's been a frustrating problem. So once all my makeup's off, um, usually once a week, I try to do a facial peel because I have really terrible combination skin. So I get oily, dry, I get cystic acne, and if there's a lot of buildup on my face, I will break out more. So I will use this, I'm going to pronounce it wrong because I pronounce everything wrong, but Dr. Dennis Ross, oh, gross, I'm not quite sure. It's the universal daily peel. So there's two parts. The first one is like an exfoliate and smooth. So you do that and then you wait like two minutes. And then the next one is an anti-aging neutralizer. I don't know what it does. All I know is it helps my skin. <laughs> and I just rub it all over my skin. And you just kind of use it until it feels like it's dry all the way. I get this and maybe you guys know what it is because I can't figure it out, but sometimes I get these weird rashes around my mouth or my nose and I cannot get them to go away for the life of me. I was getting them a lot during euphoria and I don't know if it was just because I was constantly wearing makeup and changing makeup and um, or the weather was changing, but that was happening and I started using these and it helped it uh, go away. I refuse to sleep in my makeup. Even if I am exhausted and I can't keep my eyes open, number one rule I have always followed is never sleep with your makeup in. So, 
That is my number one rule for myself. So I'll just wait a second, let my skin cool down. This is, if you see my lovely robe, I would like to say thank you Jennifer Coolidge because she actually, when we were in Hawaii, she gave it to me for Valentine's Day. Um, it's my favorite robe. <laughs> so, free Jennifer Coolidge robe. <laughs> uh, okay, so then the second towel that is the, the anti-aging one. We shall see in 10 years if it works. <laughs> Okay, so you let that dry for a little bit. And then I always love using Laneige's uh, Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Serum. I love putting this as a base for any and all skincare because I think it just really nourishes my skin. And because I do typically get dry, um, I think it just helps neutralize everything. And I was recently in Albuquerque filming and it was so dry and I just needed anything and everything to moisturize my skin. So I started using this and I love it. And it's really fun. You like twist it. <laughs> I like that. Cause then it doesn't spill everywhere in my luggage because I have a tendency to have that happen. So I just use a couple pumps and I put it everywhere as a base for this amazing device that I have found. I'll show you guys. Oh, we still open it. Okay, so I put that on. And you wanna make sure that you don't rub it in too much because then I use this solo wave wand and it's like a red light if you see. It's a, it vibrates and it's a red light therapy. And I try to use it every night for about five minutes and I feel like it really helps even up my skin tone and um, if I feel like I have a cystic acne pimple coming, it disappears. I might be telling myself that, but it works. So I do it on my cheeks and then my forehead and then my neck and I use this as the base. You can use other serums, but I like using the Laneiges. So if I start to feel dry or, or the sticks, I add a little bit more serum, but we'll start here and then just go. I started using this during uh, when we were all locked down during quarantine because I was trying to find things to just make self care and I really like using it. I tried a lot of things during quarantine. I got really into face masks and bubble baths and a lot of Cassie's products from her, her skincare routine. Um, was my product. So my my manic episode of skincare was also Cassie's manic episode of skincare. All right, so once that is all done, I move on to my moisturizers. So first I use Laneige's Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream. This was everything in Albuquerque while I was filming. So I take it. Rub it and I lather it all over. Literally, the first time I used this, I woke up and I thought my skin was a baby's bottom. <laughs> it was so soft. And because everyone's skin was so dry while we were filming, I ended up getting a bunch of their moisturizers and products for the rest of the cast and in the trailer for hair and makeup. And everyone started using them and becoming addicted and I got them all hooked. <laughs> I don't know if everyone comes to me for skincare advice, but I really like it when people do because I feel like I've had such a journey with it and I've learned, hopefully I've learned, and I'm still learning so much more, but I, there's no picture proof because I don't want it out there, but I just have really, really bad skin. And I am so grateful and thankful that I don't have acne scars because I am a picker and I, dug into my face. I had terrible mounds everywhere and I would ha I would make myself bleed and I just, I could not figure out my skin for years and years until I was like 19, 20 years old. So after the cream moisturizer, I use, oh, I took the lid off, but the Laneige's water sleeping mask. So you put it on and then in the morning, it just like soaks in and then you wash it off. But uh, it's a nice little, 
pick me up when your skin needs needs a drink i <laughs> and i don't know if this is right people are probably gonna judge me but i actually use vaseline as my under eye cream and then if i'm feeling like i need to pick me up anywhere else and i'm really dry i kind of put it everywhere else <laughs> so i just take a little bit of vaseline and I put it under my eyes. I was finding that a lot of under eye creams or oils or whatever products were not working for me. Like it would make my makeup sit strange and I felt like my eyes were getting dry or just it wasn't right. And then I started doing this and you guys, it's been a life changer. I don't know why, but that's all mean. <laughs> And then if I have a, is it a pimple, anything that I feel like coming, I have this, it's prescribed to me and I've had it for a really long time, but it's the Epo Duo Forte and I do not put it all over my face. My dermatologist told me to put it all over my face in high school and my face reacted terribly. And then I just started doing spot treatment and that changed the game for me. So I know some people say I put it all over your face, but I do not. So if I have, right now I have like the little ones up there. So I'll put this and I tap it where it needs. Then, to top everything off, I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have all the flavors because I love them all, but right now I'm addicted to the vanilla. So I generous, generously, generously apply to my lips. I also, it's just a nice little ad, but I sleep with perfume on because I like to smell good. <laughs> so I also will spray a little bit of perfume. Now I'm going to go head to bed and thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.